So the most basic way to add an item to a list is just by putting it at the end, right? Like I could just add here 33. Uh, or I can add uh, Bob and it will be a string. But in this particular exercise, it will be kind of like cheating by adding it manually. So they probably want us to add, well, they want us to add 10 random integers. So I will have to first generate the integers. So to generate a random integer, you import the random model. And then from there, you would, you would say, uh, let's say my number it's equal to random dot random int and you have to specify from where to where so from 0 to 10 and then after I have my random number let's test it let me say that I want to print it my number if you run it you'll see it's 9 right if I run again it will not be 9 anymore it will be a different random number so 7 so that's an, a random number. Now, if you want to add it to the list, when you say in Google, when you search Python add list, you will find that it, you have append, insert, extend. You have many methods. The most common one and the one that I always use is append, unless I need something very particular. Appending will be as simple as saying my list dot append. So it will add whatever I want to the end of the array. So I want to add the random number because I just generated it. So let's see what happens. If I print my list now, if I print my list, it will probably have a new item on the end. There it is. The 45 was the last one, was the last item that was there. Now it has an additional one that is 10. If I run again, it will be probably different. Yeah, two. So if I want to add this several times, I will have to loop. And loop is basically uh, traversing or uh, looping. Hmm. It, it will be going over the items in a list one by one. That's looping. So I can say, for example, I can say my list for, I can say my for, for item in my list. And then it will give me every item on the list. You know, if I print it, it will give me every item on the list. So every uh, every number. Let's comment this and run it, and you'll see. So you see every number from the list, 4 until 45. I can also create my own list. I could say, um, let's say, indexes. Indexes or index. It's equal to range from 0 to 10. This is super cool, the range function. Because the range allow me to have a list of generated of a fixed amount of values. If I print indexes, you'll see that it will show me a list of 10 values. So from 0 to 9. I can also say, for example, for from 1 if I like. From 1 to 20. And it will start at 1 and finish at 19. It will, the, the last one is excluded because it knows that lists normally start from zero so it will prevent more bugs because you will not forget about the last one remember that the last item is length minus one the length of the array minus one so once you have a list like this you can you can make a loop of as many iterations as you like so i could say for i in range from 0 to 10 and then I will loop 10 times because it will give me an array of 10 items and it will loop every, every item and now I can put my two lines inside the 4 within the scope of the 4 and they will run 10 times because after the colon when you indent to the right everything that is inside the 4 will uh, execute as many times as the 4 iterates or loops so it will look for every item in this array of 10 items so it will loop 10 times and I will append 10 random numbers. If I print now my list, you will see that it will contain the original values until 45, but it will also add at the end 10 random numbers. If I run it again, you will see that it's different every time. And then you can test it, and it's a success.